Hi, I'm Alex. Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at DeWalt's DCD-130B for bare tool. This is a mixer drill on the DeWalt's 60 volt flex volt platform. I bought this over the holidays. It was one of their sales. You buy a bare tool, you get a 9 amp hour flex volt battery for free. The numbers that DeWalt's claiming on this are astronomical. I haven't had a chance to test it out much, to be honest with you. I've been sitting on it since I got it. I just haven't had a job to use it on, to be honest with you. I've been looking forward to putting out this video for a while. Um, when I did the unboxing video, the only thing I had to use it for was a, a hole saw. I plunge cut at a hole saw through a 2x6. This wouldn't be the type of drill you would use to hole saw lumber with. It's geared really low. It's definitely a mixer. Any tool with a chuck could be a drill. But for what it's made for, it has an, uh, an e-brake. It has really good torque. It has plenty of power. It's awesome at what it does. Over the last couple days, we've been doing a lot of silver coat jobs. It's aluminum fiberated coating. The fiberated aspect of the coating settles to the bottom like a sediment, and you have to mix and churn that to the top. And ideally, get those clumps mixed thoroughly through the can. This is where I would normally pull on an extension cord, look around for power, run it up to the uh, roof, mix safely, because it, it spills, you know, and it's like a nasty oil slick sometimes. Actually, I spilled mixing this because I'm on a slight pitched roof. So, it does have a variable trigger, which I kind of feather the trigger until I hit a sweet spot. Then I just squeeze and hold that trigger. It's got an awesome speed. It's got so much torque that when my mixer corkscrews through the material, it could easily spin this full five gallon bucket, which isn't a huge accomplishment. Any corded mixer can do that, but it's impressive that it has the power and a torque of a, cor a corded mixer. Um, I've been trying to go cordless with my work truck. I can honestly say I'm 98% there now. The only reason why I keep two extension cords on board was because of the mixer and heavy demo when I have to plug in a corded circular saw or a corded reciprocating saw. If you follow my channel, you know that my six and a half inch circular saw and my full size 20 inch circular saw have been replaced by the atomic line since I have to maintain a corded option. I hope this works out for you. Good day.